morning girly pops or reader pops for this video i want to do some sort of book video where you guys are involved and if you follow me on instagram you know this but i'm an instagram story lover i genuinely don't remember the last time i actually scrolled through the feed of instagram but stories i will be checking every 15 seconds so i thought it'd be a fun way to get you guys involved with picking what books I read this week and I'll kind of get to see your taste and then you're also controlling what I read So you get to just watch what you chose if you follow me on on Instagram Then you get to you chose it and now you get to watch me like, read them um, So let's just jump into it. Our first two contenders are two very different books We have truly devious by Maureen Johnson Which is a young adult dark academia murder mystery book and then we have Carrie Soto is back by Taylor Jenkins Reid Which is probably just a women's fiction a drama of sorts. You're just following Carrie, who is a tennis player. So very different books, but they kind of match on the side. So I'm just gonna see what you guys say. I have no idea which one's more popular. So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna post a little poll. Post. And now I'm gonna wait a little bit and see what the results say. Okay, the results are in. It's actually the next day, but the results didn't change at all through the hours. It consistently stayed 37% for Carrie Soto is back and 63% for Truly Devious, which I honestly was kind of hoping that this book would win. So I'm very happy about that. It's set in Vermont, at like a little, not private school, but it's like a school for super smart kids. And it's kind of a experimental type of school, but there's a murder mystery on campus. I'm 20 pages in and I'm gonna start reading it. It's such a good fall book. now on page 200 exactly it wasn't immediately exciting it also wasn't immediately boring it was just pretty medium i got to page 100 pretty quickly and i didn't feel that invested yet but then by page like 150 i definitely felt more invested and i was reading pretty quickly and now that i'm on page 200 we're really about to get into the meat of the plot and i kind of understand like what's going to be going down in this book now and the mystery aspect of it so it's getting really exciting and i really like the setting and the vibe overall so far this is kind of my first book that i'm reading out of my book slump and it's been going quickly for me so that's great because once you're out of a reading slump your fear is that you're just gonna go back into a reading slump but i haven't been so i'm like exactly halfway through i just read the last word but it was inconsequential i think <laughs> sorry i just had to use that word when when else do you get to use the word inconsequential in a sentence that was perfect oh also i read my dms after posting the story and i got so many dms from you all saying that this is one of your favorite books ever so that definitely got it hyped up for me and i'm excited about that the weirdest coffee because I don't have any of my preferred creamers so I did almond milk and a little pumpkin spice creamer because I don't really like that creamer and then this syrup that I got but at the end it all turned out great I have 20 pages left of truly devious and it just started picking up so fast after like the 250 page mark I've been flying through it it's been so easy to read I honestly don't think I've read for this long of a time period in like almost a month so thank you to this book for doing that for me I think I definitely Definitely want to continue the series because I think there's like two more books or three more books possibly. I'm gonna read the last 20 pages. I hope it wraps up somewhat in this book so that I can get some answers. I'm having a great time so far. <sighs> okay, I finished the book. It leaves on the biggest cliffhanger and I'm honestly confused. <laughs> if I wasn't filming this video, I think I would just continue the series immediately because this definitely falls into the category of book that is my favorite. Others including A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series and the Inheritance Games series. It also kind of reminded me of The Secret History and We Were Villains, which are other dark academia books, which makes sense. I think those are like my favorite genre of book. And this being YA just helps that a bunch. I just love the YA genre. This series could make it into some of my like 
five star series, which would be so fun. We've started this video out strong, but I need to figure out what other two books I'm gonna have you guys vote for on my Instagram stories. I feel like these two books are pretty popular. Like there's pretty huge fan bases for both. So Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, which has its own Netflix show. And then Crave by Tracy Wolf. Honestly, I hope people choose Crave. I've already read 60 pages like a few months ago and I just kind of want to read it for some reason. But I don't think I'd be upset if I had to read this one either, so. Post and we'll wait for the results to come in. Okay, so on the poll, here it is. Shadow and Bone definitely won, which I'm actually happy about because I've been meaning to read this one forever. And it's also way shorter. It's like 358 pages. So I'm actually happy that you guys chose for me to read this one. I did try to watch 15 minutes of the Netflix show a long time ago before I ever knew I was gonna read this series. So I was already picturing that part of the show for the first like 65 pages of the book, but now I'm on page 130 something. And I really like this book so far. This series has so many mixed reviews because it was one of the OG books that went viral on TikTok and I feel like so many reviews of this book are that it's just an okay read. It's like a three stars. They don't really care about it. But so far I love it, which I'm very happy about because I had a weird feeling that I would love it. And I'm so happy that this is a show because I really want to watch it now that I've read this. And then it's a whole trilogy and then I could possibly reread Six of Crows so that I could read Crooked Kingdom because everyone loves the Six of Crows Crooked Kingdom duology, which comes after this trilogy. But I read Six of Crows before reading this trilogy. So I'm on chapter nine. The pages actually go by really fast because the text is kind of big. So it's just been really fun to read on. Honestly, very shocking. Good morning. I finished Shadow and Bone yesterday. And I absolutely loved it. I honestly am shocked by the amount of reviews. Well, the reviews in general, because literally it popped off for a reason in the first place. But then it got so big that I feel like now more recently, I just see reviews where people don't like it or they just feel like very meh about it, like a, a low three stars. But I loved the subplot of romance in this. I loved the plot. I didn't get bored. Like a lot of people say they struggled to finish this book and they didn't have it. I didn't experience that at all. And I have been coming out of a reading slump. So you would think I'd be more prone to that, you know, but that didn't happen. So I'm actually so excited to keep reading the series and I love it. I don't know why, why the reviews are like that. So I would rate it like a four stars, like a solid four stars. On to the next book. Oh, I didn't even realize this, but that was my hundredth book read for the year. Woo! I mean, my Goodreads goal, that's so satisfying. They throw like a little party for you when you do it. That's so cute. Let's go. Okay, time to read a new book. And it starts with us by Colleen Hoover it came out a few days ago. And the book community is so fast. Everyone had vlogs up the next day, but um, I was reading Shadow and Bones. So now that that's done, I'm going to do another Instagram poll of this book versus Carrie Soto is back again. I'm just gonna let it go through another round. But I just feel like any book that I put up against it starts with us is gonna lose. So I don't think it even really matters, but I just wanna see by how much it starts with us would win. So I'm gonna do a little cute little setup and do an Instagram story and see what happens. We shall see. Okay, if you can see in the corner, I have just sprained my ankle a little bit. Hopefully it's not too serious. It hurts a little, but um, I'm just gonna be laying here. So update on it starts with us. I started it yesterday and I'm already 114 pages in. I just started casually reading it and I just kept reading. So it's super easy to read and get into. And it's so interesting because I actually didn't like It Ends With Us that much because I found the pacing of it so strange, but then the last 100 pages with Atlas, I really liked. And this book is more so about Atlas. So it makes sense that I'm liking it, but I'm really liking this book. And I haven't really watched too many videos about it, but apparently there's some pretty mixed reviews and some people really don't like it. I'm very happy that I'm enjoying it a lot and I feel like it's gonna be a super fast read. I haven't read a book this fast in probably two months. So that's a great feeling as well. So I'm just gonna lay here, do some elevating and probably finish the book today, hopefully. Oh, also you get Atlas's point of view and Lily's point of view, so very fun. I finished It Starts With Us. So cute. Okay, thoughts. I didn't enjoy It Ends With Us that much. I enjoyed the messaging and how just well-crafted and well-conveyed the messaging was. And I feel like this book kind of continues that and delves into it because I'm trying not to do spoilers. I liked this one a lot more. Like I said, I loved Atlas in the first book and some people didn't. And so that 
they were scared for this book but i loved atlas in the first book and we got to see more of him and we got to see just more family dynamics and heavier topics discussed which i feel like are actually so important i don't know i just feel like she did it so well so i really liked the book i didn't really get bored i didn't really have a hard time reading it i'm reading it three stars just because it's not i don't know it's not one of my favorite books or anything but i really enjoyed this one and i'm not thinking too critically about the fact that she writes letters to ellen degeneres i just i don't get it but she's quirky for that and you know what that's fun so that's my review these are the books that I read in this video. Absolute banger, another banger, and an enjoyable time. Not an absolute banger, but a very enjoyable time. So thank you for voting for these on my Instagram, at HaleyFam. Go follow, duh. I love Instagram stories. I post on them a lot, but not too much. You know what I mean? Because you don't want to be da 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 da. Um, but I'll see you guys somewhere else on the internet on TikTok. Subscribe here to see me again or my vlog channel. And I love you so much.